what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel it is your girl can me and today y'all has been a long day but your girl is here getting ready to share with you guys my thoughts as you can already tell from the thumbnail on this brand called the ordinary now i first came across this brand uh just scrolling on instagram and this was like popping up a lot for some reason let me close this because my rag and everything we're looking kind of ghetto over here but um yeah so i was on instagram and this like particular um brand was just popping up on my timeline and i'm and i'm like what is the ordinary and so i went on youtube and of course there are reviews on this product and i wanted to give my honest opinion on this particular brand the ordinary so i picked this up because this has hyaluronic acid right now I have been trying to keep my skin clear. So I have had really bad breakouts in my early 20s. I started breaking out when I was like 19, the end of my um, 19 year old year, 19, I mean, at the end of my age of being 19, Lord have mercy, I started noticing that I was having a lot of breakouts and it was really unusual for me because I never broke out ever like I had the clearest most glass like skin ever and I never really you know had any issues with my skin so when I started breaking out I, I didn't think too much about it I was just like oh, okay well I got one little pimple okay that's fine but it got to the point where it was just just popping they were just popping up and I was really getting frustrated so you know, I would use like Dove, um, like gentle things that didn't have a lot of chemicals in it because I didn't want to put a lot of chemicals on my face because I didn't know what to do. So I was using just the Dove bar soap and that didn't help my skin at all. And I got to the point at around 23, my breakouts were completely gone insane they just had a my face had a mind of its own literally i felt like i had 10 eyes on my face it was ridiculous i had cystic acne all around my cheek area as you can tell i don't know if you guys can still see but it's like i still have some scarring left behind but my skin has cleared up so much from what it used to look like and i thank god every single day that he has allowed me to um have a clear skin again because I got to the point where I was just like, what is going on? Like, but I've never felt insecure. I never felt insecure about my breakouts. I just, um, well, actually I did. I got to the point where I used to work at a hotel and one day I was like, my breakouts were so bad. Um, I had to put a bandaid on my face and I, I went into work with a bandaid on my face. Mind you, this is a hotel, a hotel industry, hospitality industry. Your girl was wearing band-aids on her face and i worked at the front desk so i'm like the face of the company and yeah it just got really bad i think the night before my husband had scrubbed my face and it irritated my skin of course you don't want to do that never do that he scrubbed my face and i guess tried to um ex extract all the pimples out of my cheek oh my gosh y'all it was so bad i think i still have a picture because i was going to culinary school and i would go into school with my face looking so ugly it was just it was so ugly i had never i never would have imagined my face to look the way it did but it did and your girl was still confident you know what that's the most important thing no matter what you breaking out be confident in, in yourself because at the end of the day yeah, people may see the pimples, but at the end of the day, they're looking at how confident you are with the pimples. They're like, this girl is confident. She got pimples, she breaking out, and she's still confident. And that's the most important thing to remember is no matter what happens in life, be confident in who you are and know who you are. And that's one thing that I am so grateful for is knowing who I am in Christ Jesus and knowing that no matter what happens to my face, if it's breaking out or whatever, or if my hair starts doing, acting crazy, I'm still confident and I, because I know who I am. And that's basically what got me through my journey of acne, y'all. I never got on Accutane. I never even thought about it at the time. I wasn't even thinking about getting on Accutane because I just thought it was just a, a short-term phase. And literally, it was from the end of the beginning of my 20s, of my 20s, up until like... um 
I want to say when I was 28, I finally just, my, my acne finally ceased. So it, I was dealing with acne for eight years and it was so, whew, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. If you've ever had acne and you've been through the journey of having acne, then you understand what I'm saying. People are fortunate to have clear skin their entire life. And like I said, I had clear skin up until I was 18. In high school, I never broke out. I mean, um, I think I had like one small, like one small blackhead during my menstrual cycle month, but that was it. I never broke out on my forehead, on my cheek, under my chin. I never broke out. And I thank God for that. And I never really realized that I didn't break out. And other people in in the school that I went to, they broke out. And I never really understood that maybe they felt insecure um, because of their acne. But I never really looked at people with acne as, oh, you're disgusting and, oh, like, you don't wash your face. You're not. I never looked at them like that. I always looked at them as another person, you know, and, and they are battling with acne, obviously, but I never looked at that person and defined them by their acne. And you know what? I just, I'm grateful that um, during my journey with acne that I didn't feel that way when people looked at me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes I did. I'm just going to be completely honest. Sometimes I was kind of insecure about my skin, about my face breaking out. But I got to the point where I was just like, look, I already know I'm breaking out. You see I'm breaking out. We just going to make eye contact. So that way, you're not looking at my face, my breakouts. You're looking in, in my eye. So that's what I tried to do. That's what I tried to do. But um, anyways, y'all, I said all that to say that I recently just picked this up because I wanted to try it. I have been branching out since my Dove journey and I've been using um, other products. I had, I have been using other products. One thing that I can say that really helped me and I noticed a big difference um, about four years ago, four years ago, hello, I started um, using aloe vera because I heard that it was really good. I you know, I was on YouTube basically every single day trying to figure out what can I do to get rid of this acne because I didn't want to be that person who had just the acne face. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people were suggesting aloe vera. So I was using the real leaf plant. I wasn't using this. I was using the real leaf plant. And what I would do is in the shower, I would um, actually I use this in the shower, but when I got out the shower, I would apply more aloe vera, but from the fresh leaf. So I would go to my grocery store, get an aloe vera leaf, cut it, put it in the fridge. And they say it works best when it's nice and cold. And then you just take it out the fridge and you rub it all over your face. And that really helps uh, lighten up my pigmentation because I kind of stopped breaking out, but then it was leaving scars because I was picking on my acne. And I never knew not to i know it's like common sense like duh don't pick on it but your girl wasn't on the common sense bandwagon so she was picking on her acne and it left scarring and now it's like it's like it's there i know you probably can't really see it on on this camera thank god but you know it was really bad but aloe vera really helped me out and you know i was just praying i was like god please just help help me clear my skin and i pray that this this product works and you know what god moved for me and my acne and your girl is on the journey to clear skin i don't want to say that you know i'm overly obsessed with just glass like skin bleh, because you know i know that god made me beautiful no matter what so i'm not going to incorporate some kind of um like, for instance, people get, like, face fillers to fill up the um, the, the ice pick scarring or whatever. They they do stuff to kind of make their skin a little bit more clear. Now, I will say that I will do, like, little things like at the aloe vera, um, incorporating the hyaluronic acid, salicylic acid. The face wash that I use right now is a pretty basic one, y'all. I'm just going to be honest with you. I said this in my previous video. I just use the St. Ives. I interchange between this rose water and aloe vera. And then there's a green one that says it's, I think it's the bamboo, something else, y'all. But I interchange between those two. I really like this one. One, because it smells so good. Oh, God. It smells so good. I love the smell of roses. Anything flowery. 
I love the smell of it. And this smells really good when I wake up in the morning and I'm washing my face in the shower. Yes, your girl washes her face in the shower. And you know what? A lot of people say you shouldn't do that. But me personally, I'm different and everything. So I wash my face in the shower. I've always done it ever since I was little. And it's just a habit of mine. And I don't see anything wrong with it. So I'm going to continue doing it. I mean, I'll, unless I, you know, don't want to. Anyways, y'all, I wash my face in the shower and I go in with the same Ives. This works really well. This also has aloe vera in it, so it really helps out. And then it's like a, it gently exfoliates also. It has those little bead, bead thing, thingies in here also, which kind of, you know, I like exfo exfoliating my face every single night with, and using this face, face wash. Girl, your girl can't talk for some reason, y'all. She can't talk. It's been a long day. I just wanted to do a video and share with you guys how I how I am clearing my acne. And maybe one day soon, I will show you guys um, my um, face wash routine. It's really basic, like really basic. But I like basic. I don't like too many products on my face. I just feel like that's doing too much. And so, um, and everyone's different. What works for you might not work for me. What works for me might not work for you, but you can always try if you feel comfortable. If you feel like that's something that you can do and you're confident doing, then that's all cool. That's how I was. So this works really, really well as far as um, getting into those um, pores of mine because I like a deep cleanse, but I also like it to be gentle. I don't want any anything too rough. And this is this is... This is a gem for me right here. So St. Ives works really well. I have not tried the original, the apricot one, because I don't really feel like that is something that I am interested in trying. So that's probably why I haven't picked it up. And I'm not going to waste my money on it because I know I'm probably not going to use it. But anyways, y'all, this right here so far since I've been using it, as you can see, I've just about used half of it. I got this at Sephora for $7 and I was like, shoot, it's only $7. Let me just go ahead and pick it up. And of course, it has hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is really good for um, clearing up your hyperpigmentation. So so does salicylic, salicylic acid. Is that how you say it? Child, what does it say? Does this have the salicylic? No, okay. So it's the, the green bottle has the salicylic acid. Um, this one has the aloe vera. So that's why I, I like using those two and interchanging, interchanging them. But um, yes, I had to pick this one up because it has the, as you can see, hyaluronic acid, 2% plus B5. I guess it's a vitamin for your face also. Um, and this is a vegan hyaluronic acid so the ordinary is something like like what i like i like simple basic straight to the point nothing too complicated not not a lot of ingredients so i put this on i've been putting this on my face after i get out the shower and like as soon as i get out the shower i go in actually i'm lying i was going in with this but recently um i've been reapplying my face masks my peel off face masks and I've been using this uh, Freeman right here I mentioned this in um, a couple of my other videos I like the peel off masks I like the cucumber one also and there's like another black charcoal one I believe but this is something new that I've picked up um, and I really like it I feel it I don't know I don't know I don't know how I feel just yet because I've only used it for about two weeks so I like to give a product at least a month and I've been using this for a, like a month and a half now as you could tell and this works really really well really really well i've been using this instead of my aloe vera because before i got this i was going in with my aloe vera gel after i got out the shower and yeah that's like so my face face blah, 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 blah. My face wash routine is really simple. I go in the shower, take a shower, and then I go in with my St. Eyes, and that's it. Get out the shower, and then I would apply this, but since I got the Ordinary, I've been applying this, and I recently just reincorporated my um, peel-off mask. So, very simple, and I feel it works great for me. Like I said, everyone is different. If you like using high-end products because you feel it works well, that's great. 
you know, I'm not going to say that I can't afford high-end products because I can, but I just feel like I'll start at the bottom. And if I feel like the one that what I'm what I'm using now doesn't work, then I'll work my way up to something more professional. And I'm not saying that this isn't professional all my products here, but you know, I feel it works well for me and my skin and it gives me the confident boost that I need as far as ha getting clearer skin. So, yeah, y'all, I'll try to insert a picture of how my face looks. Y'all, it was looking, I was looking crazy, y'all. I was looking crazy. Your girl was looking crazy, but she was walking out in them, in them streets confident, honey, with her head held high, acne and all. And that's that's how you got to do it. You just got to be confident. But anyways, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to... Um, hear what I, what products I'm using right now. Of course, if it changes, I'll let you guys know. And if you guys want to ask any questions, leave, leave them down in the comment sec section. Lord have mercy. I cannot talk for some reason. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.